What's going on guys? We just got down here to South Charleston. Or got up here to South Charleston. Um, we're dropping four cars off here. It'll be these bottom three and the top one up there. A very, very easy low. But what I want to talk to you guys today about is I keep getting questions about what it's like as a new car hauler um, getting into United Road, what their training program's like, what their uh, system of getting you guys up and running and hauling cars like this or hauling loads like these and uh, getting you out here on your own, what you can make, what, you're, uh, what you can expect. That's what we're going to get into today. So uh, let's get off loading and, and I'm going to talk to you guys while I'm getting this thing, these cars dropped and uh, let's get into it. First thing you're going to need to do is actually apply to United Road, get hired on. Um, right now, it is a little tougher than it has been if you don't have experience, simply because a lot of the uh, car market has slowed down a little bit. So there, uh, there's a little bit less, or there's less units to be hauled. So that has slowed down the hiring. But you still can, as somebody that has absolutely zero experience, get on with United Road. Um, first, if you, I'm going to start off. First, I'm going to start off discussing it as if you came like I did with experience, what to expect, and it is fairly simple. Um, the way I got hired. I applied here, it will be four years ago in, uh, well, I got hired on four years ago in November. It was actually the, uh, like two days before uh, Thanksgiving is when I actually got hired. So what's going to happen is obviously you make, you apply, you tell them where you want to be out of, um, or roughly what, uh, what areas that you're going to want to run in. Um, you're going to have a sit down conver or either a sit down or an over the phone. Mine was over the phone, uh, conversation with the person that is in charge of hiring for my area. And, uh, we did, it was probably about a 15 minute conversation about what kind of experience I had, what I was looking at, what, what I was wanting out of the job for home time, where I wanted to run, those kind of questions to uh, weed out anybody that's going to be getting hired into an OTR yard that wants to run local and be home every night because that's obviously not going to work out if you're at one of the few yards that are going to want you on the road for two, three weeks at a time. Um, I pretty much stated that I wanted to be regional. i um, home every weekend. I've got a young family that I want to be there to watch grow up. So that was my, uh, the extent of our little discussion. It, it went by pretty quick and easy. Um, again, at that point I had had uh, nine, almost 10 years of car hauling experience. So they obviously knew, I knew what, what I was doing, so we didn't get much into that sort of stuff, um, previous driving and stuff like that. I pretty much had done, at that point, probably a few thousand loads for United Road as an owner-operator, and pretty much told them, go, uh, go look up my driving, or go, go look up my load record from United Road, you can see what we used to do and how little damages that we had. So after that, we then got into uh, where, or the, after that, um, got my offer letter to come over to United Road and uh, and uh, aired my airfare up to Michigan. Went to Michigan and uh, was up there for a week. The course up there, would be, so far all of this is going to be the same if you have zero experience in car hauling or if you have many years. This first section is the same no matter what. So 
turned around and went on up to flew up to Michigan and you're up there for a week. At that point, I think it paid $125 a day for training. I don't know what it pays right now, but that that is that is what it was then, um, nearly four years ago. They uh, we were up there for five days. Turned around. The mornings were a little classroom thing, more or less going over the be safe, don't hit things. These are our company rules. Sort of mumbo jumbo that you would have at any uh, any trucking company that you went to. Here's how our logbooks work. Here's how we uh, here, here's how loads are dispatched. Here's how. Uh, uh, you get signatures on their app for their program, stuff like that. The the basics. After that, um, every day after lunch, we went out into the yard, and in the yard we would uh, the the guys that didn't have experience would uh, would load trucks, and that would be explained to them. Us that knew how to, um, pretty much. They gave you a quick little test of like, here's the nine units you're putting on. What order would you load them in and why? Explain that quick or put this one on the head rack, take it back off. So as long as you were competent and you uh, seemed to know what you were doing, that was the extent of your training. As for guys that don't have experience, this is where it's going to vary a lot from the way I was hired. Um, you're going to go through that course. They are going to, at that point, I think they would keep you two, sometimes three weeks until they felt you were safe enough to load and unload the truck damage free. Um, after that, they would send you to your, uh, they would send you to the terminals from, uh, from the terminals, you are going to be placed with a trainer, um, and and from there, I think the first couple weeks until they are comfortable with you, you are riding with a trainer or just simply in the yard with all the trucks and your trainer, and they're more or less showing you the ropes on how it all works. And getting you loading the cars onto either the trainer's truck or other people's trucks. So that way you can get that experience. Once they feel you're good enough, if you're riding with the trainer, again, that could be a week. Could be a few weeks. It depends on how quick you pick things up. But from there, you are going to, uh, they're going to get you into your own truck. And... With, with your own truck, again, you're, you're still going to be with the trainer. They are still going to be walking you through every single time you unload, reload, every load that you get, trying to explain the different types of vehicles and how it works on your truck. So, so that, or, or on the trucks. So that way you know pretty much everything there is to, uh, to doing this um, except for just being proficient in the beginning so you will be out there with your trainer um, when they feel you're good enough like I said they will put you in your own truck now they're not releasing you on your own yet but you are out there in your own truck and you will be expected to at that point, be able to walk through the auctions, walk through um, the terminals and the yards, and go get all your own cars, inspecting them, making sure there's no damage, things like that. And uh, you're going to be semi on your own. They will be there to give you pointers, but at that point in time, you're expected to pretty much... If it's the basic loads you've been learning, you're expected to know how to put them on. Um, if you got wacky loads, like you, you load the stuff like I do, 
and you get to a yard that's all trucks or suburbans, stuff like that, they're going to help explain um, explain how it's different in those yards. So they're not you're not completely on your own, but you're expected to pretty much know the ropes at this point. You'll be loading the trucks on your own, and you're going to be out there with your trainer. He is going to be loading loads on his truck. So you're both going to be together, hopefully being able to go to the same dealerships to unload, but you will have to stay together. So let's just say you both got a nine car load to different dealerships, whether it is your load first or his load first, that will determine whose dealership you're going to first. If it's yours, he is going to follow you from the terminal to your dealership, preferably with almost zero input. You should know what you're doing at this point. He's going to follow you into the dealership. He's going to be there watching you unload. Again, preferably at this point in time, you know what's going on. He's not sitting there walking you through it. He's just observing a quiet, a quiet observer to make sure you are doing it safely. From uh, at that point in time, you are going to leave that dealership and run to his dealership where you may be unloading his load or you may be um, just sitting there again as a quiet observer or just even helping so that way you guys can get on to your next run. Um, again, at that point in time, you are going to be expected to be able to get to your next load safely with almost zero input. Um, you're going to be expected to, if, uh, if you're in a day cab like mine, you're going to be expected to pre-plan what hotels you're going to, call in advance, get yourself a room. When you get there, he may ask you ahead of time, um, how are you going to get into this hotel? Uh, where are you coming in at? Where are you going to park the truck? What's your plan of attack? That sort of scenario. And you're going to be expected to be able to explain it. Because at this point, you're, you now have been on the road for at least a bare minimum to preferably probably three to four weeks with the trainer. You're, you should know in four weeks roughly how to do the entire job. Um, you won't be proficient and fast with loading and unloading, but you're at least going to be expected to know the process. From, uh, from there, once you, uh, you kind of get all of that, you're going to be very quickly um, signed off on and put out on your own. You're going to be out here delivering your own loads and be pretty much set free. Um, and, and from there, it's just going to be getting more and more proficient and, and learning the ropes. I will say having absolutely zero experience to being on your own, probably going to be at least, uh, I would say at least one month if you're a very, very, very fast learner. That is going to be from getting up to Michigan, spending a week up there, they think you know what you're doing. You are then sent down to go get your truck or go go meet your trainer. You're going to be with the trainer a minimum of probably three weeks. Um, I'd say the first two is going to be, like I said in the beginning, one-on-one -on -one with him and his truck, training you on the process, and then at least one week um, out there with, with him following you around again, making sure he can sign off because again, he's putting his name on the fact 
that you know what you're doing. So a minimum of a week on your own, probably two or three to be safe. Um, after that, I, I would say the quickest, like I said, one month to you're completely on your own on average, probably six to eight weeks before, uh, before you are completely on your own on average. And they're going to spend, I would say, no more than two, possibly three months trying to get you trained. You should know what you're doing in that time period um, to be able to be out here and unloading, reloading, and stuff like that safely. That is going to be kind of expected of you. That They're not, they're not going to want to put much more time into it than that, in my opinion. All right, and then so lastly, um, my, my wife called uh, when I was making that video, so I didn't get to uh, finish what I was talking about, but it is daylight again. We are here in St. Albans loading up another wonderful load to Tennessee. But if you go through all that training, yes, it, it's going to be a few weeks um, to, to probably about two months start to finish till you're completely on your own. The first few weeks when you're out on your own, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle as well. You are learning. This right here is not the easiest thing in the world. You got high rails, low rails. Um, on the other side, if you see the little trailer going that direction, um, you have high mounts. So it, it's all different types of work that you can do out here and you got to learn all the ins and outs of each of these loads and how easy or how difficult it is to get them all on. Once you've learned all that, the sky's the limit. Um, I normally out here make between 1800 on the low end to usually around 2200 on average. And then my high end is usually around like 26, 2700. Um, but the sky's the limit. You can make as much as you want, however hard you want to work. AKA last week I did $2,900 simply because I need to pay for my daughter's hearing aids. Um, this week's going to be the same thing. I'm looking at back to back pretty close to $3,000 weeks. I think this week I'll probably be around like $2,600. So just my paycheck for those two weeks, not including the bonuses, just those two weeks, I'm going to make well into like the 50, let's say 53, $5,600 range. Very, very, very good money. Um, and it all just depends on how hard you want to work. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and apply over here to United Road. Use me as your referral if I'm the reason you came over. Name is John Wyland. Also, if you got anything out of this video, go ahead and click the video right over here or here, wherever it is. And that's the uh, video that's going to teach you how to load this truck. That's the last one that I made. It's about an hour long. Great video. Go check that out. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.